Sazerac means more than just than just a cocktail. For a long time, people thought that the Sazerac was the first cocktail, and there was a lot of lore around that. When it comes to telling the history of cocktails, of course, there's a lot of alcohol involved, so things get a little fuzzy. <laughs> it's the first cocktail for New Orleans. There are parts to this that are inherently from New Orleans, I think is one of the things that makes New Orleans embrace the drink so much. It's a 20th century cocktail with a 19th century story. Well, New Orleans is known for a lot of the classics, like the Sazerac and the Ramos Gin Fizz, but current trends in the cocktail world are really birthing here in New Orleans, and the community is definitely on the forefront of the industry. For us, the process is finding classic cocktails that we want to interpret through a modern lens. And so we'll start with sometimes with a product, or sometimes with an old recipe, and then we go through and we edit and we make sure that we're putting out a really well thought out cocktail. Cocktails and socializing in New Orleans, it just goes hand in hand. I can't even imagine socializing without them. Tales the Cocktail started as a walking tour of New Orleans bars and restaurants. And really, the event just got an amazing response, as small as it was, with like 50 people in the back of the carousel bar. And it just, you know, evolved to, you know, what it is today, 13 years later. Tales of the Cocktail did so much for this city. People come from all over the world, not only to share our culture, but to share their culture that they're developing. New Orleanians have always preserved the cocktail. A lot of the same bartenders work at neighborhood bars and, and the craft cocktail and hotel bars. We're seeing New Orleans as a place for great inspiration, but also as a fertile place for this new bartending to kind of take root and really bloom into something so beautiful. If you live in New Orleans, you can actually live the way that people work very, very, very hard all of their lives to hopefully live one day. You know, that's the way we live every day.